The Kyrie Fives are one of the most innovative and iconic sneakers, uh, sneakers in general, or basketball sneakers in particular, to have dropped in recent memory. Uh, I was amazed when I first looked at them for the channel. Uh, it was back in December 2018 and the Ikets came out and I looked at those guys and I was like, whoa, where on earth did these come from? These are absolutely fire. Uh, and I was, uh, I enjoyed, I, I literally enjoyed bringing that review and looking at those sneakers for you guys here. Uh, and now here we've got the uh, Kyrie Sixes coming out. And the question I wanna ask you is, what do you think? How do you think they compare? How does the Kyrie Six, news Kyrie Six is coming out real soon, compared to the Kyrie Fives. What's good, what's not? Have they kept it going? Do they stand up against each other? Does the Kyrie Six hold up against the Kyrie Five? This is a Tokyo Butter 23 sneaker channel. Tokyo Butter 23 sneaker channel. Today is my niche up soon enough. My niche media can decide. And every single day I bring you content from Tokyo, Japan about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news and sneaker reviews. And today we're looking at that upcoming release of the Nike Kyrie Sixes, the uh, the next iteration in the Kyrie line. Um, and uh, and what we need to, to do is to think about that in terms of the Kyrie Fives. It's very important to me that we look at the Kyrie Fives and understand the differences between the Fives and the sixes and I want to do that using those ikets that I talked about because it was just such an iconic sneaker and I and I, I just love it so much and you can really see the detailing and the innovative design on uh, on that iket which is surely behind me here right now and it's comparing that to the sixes and seeing what the differences are and seeing where the strengths and the weaknesses are in the upcoming uh, Kyrie sixes but before we do that this is a YouTube channel I do need to grow the channel so please do hit the subscribe button down below and help the channel to grow uh, if you've already done so thank you very much if you're about to do so i'd appreciate it very much and as i am here in tokyo japan i do see the start of every single one of my videos toroku yoroshiku onegaishimasu shite no toroku button will click suru to toroku dekiru no de zehi o susume shimasu no de toroku yoroshiku onegaishimasu uh, all right so let's have a look at these guys and see what it is about the sixes uh, there are great things that they've brought forward from the fives and what they should have brought and they didn't, uh, what things on the sixes uh, are not as good as the fives um, and try and work out whether or not this is a step forward on the Kyrie line. Um, and the first place that I want to start, I want to start high and work my way down low. So we're going to start up on the tongue there where you've got the Kyrie Irving um, branding on the tongue there in white on that black background. Uh, very simple branding, uh, very distinct, uh, as many people know, and it's a, a, just a very simple piece of branding. But as you come down and onto the midfoot strap, uh, you can see some really innovative branding with the six on there. It's Roman numerals, which is a V with a one on the uh, right side as you read it, uh, which is V plus one, five plus one for the six um, and uh, and it's cool the way that that's sort of 3d three-dimensional on that midfoot strap then it kind of pops off of the sneaker although being in black on black is a bit harder to see it'll be interesting to see in future iterations of the sneaker if they're going to change that up and have a different color on their uh, foreground and, and background to make it pop a little bit more um, but then going down to this uh, the underside of the sneaker to the outsole you've got the signature um, part of the sneaker and I, I'm never I'm never a huge fan when the signature part of a sneaker is on the outsole uh, because it's the least seen that part of the sneaker after the insole of course um, and you don't really want that to be the most popping part of a sneaker uh, but that is the case here where you've got that massive eye on the four foot of the outsole in multiple colors uh, and it's a really popping effect uh, but as you come back from that eye, you get to one of the lesser effects that have been brought forward from the fives. Now, the fives, especially the Ikets, have a lot of influence from Egypt and the pyramids and ancient Egypt and things like that, including the eye that we were just talking about. And on the, uh, the fives, there was... Um, all fives and most pronounced on the ikets, uh, that kind of jagged pyramid effect across the lacing system was one of the standout features. And you can see that again on the heel section of the outsole um, that you've got that kind of jagged effect, that pyramid or wave effect on there. And then uh, and if you stay in that heel section but wrap around to the mid sole, uh, you can also see again there that kind of outline of those pyramids or those waves. But they're very subtle. And they're very nondescript and they're not very in your face. Uh, and that, I think, is a down, uh, a letdown on these sneakers. The way that the, the flamboyance and the popping uh, triangles and pyramids and, and wave effect of the Kyrie 
Irving fives has been lost on the sixes and it's now much more subtle and much more toned down. And that effect is uh, very prominent on the back of the sneaker on the heel where you've got again that eye branding there, but because it's a black eye on black background on a black upper, it's really, really lost. And like I said, with the six branding on the midfoot strap, uh, it might be that that branding looks different if you can get more colors in there and you get more pop in between the background and the foreground but because it's black on black on black uh, it really is dulled down and it loses its effect and that really is the signature of this sneaker all over uh, is to me it's just a very standard looking basketball sneaker there's nothing special about it nothing that really jumps out at and says wow that's amazing what an iconic step forward if you think of the lebron 17s and the upper on there and especially the sleek look across the lacing system as a whole uh, different take on the basketball sneaker um, but for me these Kyrie sixes are very very similar to Kobe four pro pro tro fours um, and uh, that is most evident on the toe box where you can see that the toe box and the midfoot are very different materials and you get that contrast between the two um, and uh, but being black and black there's not really that much of a contrast but they are very different materials and it's a it's it's a i don't know if it's a signature of the pro tro fours but it's one of the features of the pro tro fours that they have that different material on the toe box and the midfoot and maybe i've put up a picture behind me here of either the undefeateds or the black mambas which dropped recently and to be honest these these sixes look like they're more of a um, a variant of the Pro Tro 4s than they are uh, a development of the Kyrie 5s. Um, so I'm kind of disappointed in these, um, these 6s. I don't think that um, the things that made the 5 stand out have been sort of dulled down and then there's nothing that pops the 6s forward. So it's um, a much simpler shoe, a much more basic basketball shoe. Um, I know that they do have that embroidered swoosh on the side which some people are, are talking up as an innovative change between the fives and the sixes I'm not really seeing it myself to be honest it's not um, it's not something that really grabs my attention and says wow check that out that's a real uh, a real change on there so uh, so for me it's a bit of a letdown I'm afraid I'm afraid the Kyrie sixes aren't what I would have hoped uh, I remember the Kyrie five Chinese New Year's full of color and those uh, those that that strapping across the um, the lacing system to give that kind of jagged wave or pyramid effect uh, was really highlighted by the colors of the Chinese New Year and of course those ikets that I was talking about um, also a Kraken looking colorway uh, with that purple uh, out so I can still remember them very vividly I don't remember many sneakers I've reviewed more than 350 sneakers for the channel uh, but I don't remember many of the sneakers as vividly as, as I remember the Kyrie uh, 5 ikets they were just a really cracking sneaker and everything about them was popping and on point and that's why I'm a little disappointed in the sixes because I don't think there's much to get your teeth into on there I don't think there's much to grab a hold of so not my favorite development uh, in terms it's a bit like the Ultra Boost 2 4.0 is going to the Ultra Boost 19s uh, not many people saw that as a step up or a step forward and it's the same for these uh, Kyrie 5s going to Kyrie 6s that um, yeah could have done better I think is what the report card would say for these guys uh, okay that's enough about the sneaker uh, in terms of the butter movement the butter movement trucks along um, when we're getting that content dripping in from the shoe department hopefully that's going to turn into a flow sometime real soon I know that they've been marking shoe butter have been into the shoe department and trying to work out what kind of content to bring us and we truly appreciate that and looking forward to that coming in if there is anything you think that we can do for the channel to help us to develop things please do let me know in the comments down below um, we have got the core of the channel is the sneaker reviews uh, and of course the butter movement stuff on one side um, coming from shoe butter and mark down in the shoe apartment uh, but then also on another side I've been doing vlogging uh, recently with uh, just things as simple as my daily commute because a, a commute in Tokyo is a is a thing to behold um, or uh, other things like uh, I, I sometimes run here in Tokyo so if you're interested in running in Tokyo that's a thing to look at and I will be getting to the snow and up to do snowboarding and skiing uh, which Japan is famous for as well um, so I'll be vlogging those kind of things as well so you've got the, the core content about the sneakers the shoe butter stuff and then the vlogging stuff which keeps things a bit more interesting and a bit more innovative but if you the viewer out there have things that you can recommend or suggest to help the channel to grow uh, 
uh, things that you would like to see uh, dropped content here at Talking About the 23 Secret Channel, please do let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to get that done for you. For now though, it's time to sign off and thank you guys for checking out my content. I do truly appreciate it. And because I do this every single day, that means that you're guaranteed to see me. I'm here every single day dropping content about sneakers, sneaker reviews and sneakers, upcoming sneaker releases and things like that. So uh, if you're interested in that and you want to catch that every single day, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And because I do do this every single day, I get to look you guys in the eye and confidently say that you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow.